Welcome back to another day on the Lorcan of Pixelborn Client. Today we're revisiting another popular deck of mine. This time we're upgrading it to Into the Inklands. This is Lore Hunters. Of course, it's Lore in the Inklands. Lore Hunters is a very aggro centric deck with the idea of a few bodyguards to help out. This deck's no different, but it has been upgraded to the Inklands. So now we have cards like Robin Hood, Kita's, where is he? Big Robin Hood. That's, that's the fun one. And of course, Maui's Place of Exile. I'm super interested in trying this card out. This is a deck that just wants to play characters and quests. Its downfall are of board wipes, of course, that's always an issue. One of the two board wipes does damage, however. Maui's Place of Exile is going to help out with that. The bodyguards stop other characters from attacking. Kida's a new cheap bodyguard that comes down in the colors of the deck. That's fantastic. So it's like having a Simba in the deck. And of course, Robin Hood. A turn one, two, two play. Not bad sometimes, especially if you have to play on the defensive. You have to play against like a Cinderella maybe. But then the capability to shift into the three, six, quest for two, attacks things, and gains lore when it defeats characters yes please this feels like a card meant for lore hunters this deck is going to be fast i'm going to do my best to get longer games but if it's anything like the original lore hunters this deck will be fast there will be games that are four minutes three minutes two minutes can we have a one minute game i don't know this deck can go quite fast so as a result, today's video may not be the longest of the bunch because it likely, I don't want to have a video that is just filled with two minute games. And because I think that'd be boring. I think you guys would think that was boring. So I'm going to try to get some longer games. But if I end up getting a lot of short games, it's going to be a shorter video for sure. And before we jump into it, there are links in the description down below to join Patreon tier three for the raffle to win some of the stuff on the wall behind me. And also there's a link for a new site called Coffee. Well, I don't know how new it is, but Coffee is a donation tipping site uh you can feel free to tip as much or as little as you want i am trying to go to all or most of the challenger events and it is expensive just a cool gesture on your part help me out i'd love to see you guys there if you feel so inclined to donate you don't have to but if you feel so inclined that link is down there for you let's jump in and see how slow <laughs> we can make this deck play mm, steel ruby the two removal colors. <laughs> I'm playing an aggro deck. I'm playing an aggro deck that wants to hit the ground running. And I'm playing against both the removal colors. I mean, of course I am. Uh, let's get rid of a Robin. And a Merlin. Try to get bigger Robin here. No bigger Robin. But I did acquire a curve. Ooh. Go in second against the double removal deck. Gotta be careful of Aladdin here. That is a thing. Oh, phooey. Lots of good plays, actually. Lots of good plays. Let's get rid of the Donald. We'll go for it. I may Robin Hood and bounce a character next turn. And then follow up with a bunch of questing and Fox taking out a thing. Mr. Shmee! I think I will do that. This is too cost, right? Yes. Goodbye, Mr. Shmee. Hello, Robin Hood. No questing. Make them repeat their turn. And actually, I'm totally fine if Madame Mim wants to trade for two of their characters. P -p -p Pirates. Oh, and we got the Robin Hood, too. Well, Robin doesn't do me much good just yet. I anticipate we're going to see some locations from the opponent. Probably a Maui. You know what's interesting is like, so far very similar to a deck that I played for yesterday's video. 
However, at the time of recording this, that video doesn't go live for another 34 minutes. <laughs> Somebody named Summy is, uh... Oh, and I called it too, Maui. Somebody's thinking exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I think I take it out, don't I? Because I can't take out the lo- If I could take out the location, it would be awesome to be able to have Robin Hood come down. But I can't do it all. So I think I'm trading here. Now if I shift Robin Hood and Quest, they could move both characters. Both characters would then take out my Robin Hood. I would take Captain Hook with me and Mr. Shmi would have one... Would have one damage left to go before he dies. It's not quite enough. Could quest, play a Madam Mim, attack the Maui. Don't even quest, I'll just take out Maui. Yeah, let's just take out Maui. All right, and when they want to inevitably try to do some attacking or questing, I'll have my Robin Hood ready to go. Ha! What do you think about that, opponent? I'm glad we don't have to deal with that Aladdin. My goodness. Slow aggro start. Pirates are great against fighting against aggro. Totally fine with that. Love to see the quest. I like this for me. Oh, I really want the bodyguard though. I really want the bodyguard. It's gonna be great for these two. Even though it'll only be good for a turn. There goes Robin Hood. I do not get to draw a card because it was not combat. During your turn, whenever this character banishes another character challenge, ready. Can't quest for us to turn. Oh, great. Of course they drew a Scar-like character. Well, let's hope they don't come across the board wipe. Like, if I was going to lose to any deck, it, it would definitely be this one. Cause it's nothing but removal, so I'm, I'm surprised I've, I've seen more pirates than removal at this point. Yep, there's removal. That'll probably take out Kida. No, Pinocchio, okay. Man, that's such a feel bad. I think it's a feel bad for the opponent, honestly. I just want to take it out. It sucks, but it needs to be done. Need to take out that location, too. We're gonna see a swords. Swords pretty much ends the game. Not a swords, but there's all that removal I knew was gonna show up. Oh, they get to fire the cans back. Good thing they can't play it this turn. Hmm. Only do six damage to that thing. Not sure I'm gonna get out of this. I'm not taking out RLS Legacy. It's just not happening. All right, so Captain Hook can take out anything. And so can the fire the cannons. I doubt they pop it off on Beast. Because then they do get to lose their location. So they're going to definitely clean up Maleficent. And they can clean something else up with an attack. 
Well, I'll clean up Maleficent with an attack, because it's the least amount of damage on Captain Hook. And then clean up something with the fire of the cannons. Doesn't matter really which one they take out. They're going to go for the more attack power. Okay. Coming down to the wire here. Oh, how do I want to play this? Going to 17. Then they're going to 19. So I just need to be... As much as I can, right? Play Donald as a bodyguard. Alright, bonus still has a ton of outs. It's ridiculous. So much removal for them. No board wipe, thankfully. And that's not gonna do it. That is game. Unless this quest for two? Quest for one, okay. <laughs> I was a little nervous for a second there. Wow, wow, wow. I don't- I think we lose this game Six out of ten times. It's a little less than 50-50, I think. Ketchup and mustard. Delta Commodore. Hey, going first. Fantastic. I do like to see that. I have no early aggression. <laughs> Let's get rid of you. 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 I was just thinking about Arthur, if he would be interesting to have an opening hand or not. But I think not. I think I want a lot of my one and two drops. There's a two drop. No one drops. Wow. I get to go first, but I don't get to take advantage of it. All right. Well, I may be able to take advantage of these befuddles. That is an expensive Mickey Mouse. All right. Pluto's gone. I hate to do it, but it's worth it. Let's get a Maleficent down. Let's get Pluto off the board. No ramping for the opponent. Because these only work on cost two or less, so these are really only super effective in the first couple of turns. If Pluto lets them ramp into their turn three, we're in trouble. Not a dingle hopper. Hmm. This doesn't feel great. But I'm totally doing it. Next turn I can set up the Maui or I can go bodyguard. It's two share cons down. They do plan on attacking. Definitely gotta go bodyguard. All right, bodyguard it is. Let's hope they don't have instant removal for Prince or it could be game over for us on the spot. Getting rid of a Rapunzel. Playing a Rapunzel. Naturally. Well, let's see. If I put Prince on Maui, it's resist two, so he still dies to Mother Gothel. So I would spend the effort putting it on the other two so they don't die. It could be the turn where Pluto also shifts. They can ink and then just pay for the shift. So I could lose the Prince and Pinocchio here. Mother Gothel will take out the Prince. 
Nothing surprising about that. But we're gonna see if this Maui's worth its salt or not. Okay, so it was the turn, so we are losing Pinocchio. It's good news for them. Alright, so our characters don't survive regardless of Maui. I don't know what they could run, but perhaps having these on the location will matter. Alright, we're so far ahead, we're just kind of in a phase of kill my thing or die. Lady Tremaine will take out a Robin Hood. And it is starting to show that they have all of the removal. <laughs> There's no place to take out Maui if they don't do damage dealing. Oh, I like that. That buys me a turn. Is that gonna do it? Opponent needs removal for Maleficent. And all of a sudden, I have Lady Tremaine fodder. But they could have a Madame Medusa. That is not a Madame Medusa. Now they heal to draw a card. Kind of like their deck. Doesn't do well against my super hyper aggro so far. But it's super synergist. Any other deck would, I think would struggle against this. Amber Steel. Amber Steel going second. Okay. Uh, the Pinocchios are nice. If I wasn't going second, so we're gonna throw them back. Kita bodyguards nice. Donald's probably ink. Befuddle might help me recover. What's it playing against? Either the Queen or Cindy Relly. Yeah, we'll keep the Befuddle. All right, we're going to be befuddling all day. All right, is it Cinderella? It is Cinderella. There's nothing Cinderella can do that's super scary right now, right? If I bounce it, then they just play it and basically maybe, maybe play another one drop. I don't know if I bounce it right now. <sighs> I don't know if I was supposed to. It felt like the right move to make though. Because I'm making them consume this early turn, right? They're not going to get a two drop now. And that can be huge. I could choose to play this and bounce the Cinderella, but then they just hard cast their removal. I think I just play Kita. Because the removal, they'll get to draw a card off of it, but it won't kill Kita. Whiffed. you love to see that. All right, either can sing pretty much anything at this point. <laughs> Gotta ink a thing. If I don't play Maleficent, I won't have the chance of having a snake that I want next turn. But I think because my opponent's running steel, I want as much protection as possible. Obviously, five damage from Along Came Zeus is still huge. It'll take out Maui's Place of Exile. Yeah, there it is. Or they could choose to get rid of the character, but it'll be the... Yeah. Because that makes all the rest of their spells stronger. Glad we got rid of it. 
Alright, and there's a fox that takes down an aerial. And then we can also bounce the Cinderella. Means I gotta get rid of a snake. Alright, if we're gonna do that, we are gonna quest. Bounce you. Take you down. And again, I don't want them to combo off here. So we'll bounce that. Again, they can just hard cast it. But that pretty much is costing their turn then. Hmm. They're both good, but I have the ability to play more stuff if I go Maleficent. Maleficent, Maleficent, pass the turn. Couple of bodyguards. Yeah, it gets rid of Fox because it deals with Robin Hood fairly well. If only I had another Fox. That's not another Fox. Deck? What are you thinking? Alright, so dies to two attacks. One of the little guys, and then the big Robin Hood. Can't play both my bodyguards, and I would need both to be able to just indiscriminately quest this turn. We might be a rabbit gamer right now, actually. Hate to see it. It's not the most effective thing, but Pascal will be able to quest every turn. Alright, and I can't just quest and hope for the trade with the little stuff because Big Robin Hood just gets to take it out as if it was questing. That's good. Alright, we're gonna attack that. We're gonna quest there. We're gonna bounce the rabbit, draw some more cards. We're gonna take you out. They do get to draw a card. Now here's the thing. If I played this, they could attack it with all three characters to finally defeat it. <laughs> but I would have to ink Robin Hood. Pascal's still questing. Ugh, Robin Hood's like one of my top dogs in the deck. I think I can wait. Now opponent could just draw their swords and... <laughs> then it's like, oh, the game ended. <laughs> Another Robin Hood from the opponent. Of course they drew two of their shift characters while they had shift targets available. <laughs> well, that made it very difficult. Hmm. I go up to eight. I don't even think they worry about taking out the princes, honestly. I think they just quest. If I go up to eight, then I'll only have a plus nine left on the princes. That won't be enough to just race them. So what do I need? Do I need Robin Hood down? I think I need Robin Hood down. He doesn't take out their Robin, but he does force... It's not even a trade with the Queen, it just takes out the Queen. Oh, this is a tough position. If I quest with both of these, I think they just take him out. I think I need multiple quests with them to have a chance. The problem with letting them get so high up is uh, the flute. Alright, so if I play a prince, short of actual removal, which they just might have. Well, if I play two princes... Two princes. 
This might just be the way. Because it's going to be hard for him to get through both princes. Minus four on that is only a plus seven, so that's still not lethal if they get through both princes. Long came Zeus, that'll take care of one prince. And then questing will allow Robin Hood to take down the other prince. So it's as if they don't miss out on questing. Just gonna go for the attack. So Robin Hood will take out a little character. Good move. Well, we knew they needed removal. It's just unfortunate that they had it. Ooh, a Pinocchio is very valid here. <laughs> Opponents on plus three. If they have a song, they just win the game. I'm not sure I have another way to sneak out a lore. Even without the removal. I don't think I had another way to sneak. Oh, I had a goat. Yeah, so it's possible for a goat win. But the song is lethal no matter what. Like we said. Ooh. How interesting. Spicy. Sapphire Amber. And I get to go first. Alright, Maleficent. Turn two bodyguard. I don't want either beast. Let's get some more aggro to go with these bodyguards. And I'm not going to get there. <laughs> Maui, though, that's going to be spicy. Uh, we're going to start by getting rid of Goat. Goat is a late game piece for sure. There goes a Pluto. And a poop sickle. I was going to say if I got another one drop, but I did not. Oh, let's go. I think Befuddle's going to be... Feels like it might be useless. Because they didn't have little Pluto to go with their big Pluto. Alright, I should be able to go from Kida straight into Donald Duck. So bodyguard to bodyguard. So I should be relatively safe. I see the poop sickle and I'm automatically thinking Ruby removal, but not in the deck. It's some kind of healing deck. I can't think of any rush, but just in case. This might be one of my fastest games yet. His opponent's not really doing anything. Just plain stuff that heals. That means, uh... Well, what's it called? Pabby? Grand Pabby? Is in this deck? Because isn't that a healing payoff card? Sure is. Wow, this game is over before it even began. Let's go. I don't need Beast. Let's get some resistance. All right, it's pretty pretty difficult for the opponent to uh, win here from this point. All right. I'll play a rabbit just to see more cards. Fast turn. All right, opponent's got to do a total board wipe. Well, <laughs> this might be the fastest I've ever seen Lore Hunters. Well, Lore Hunters in the Inklands. Lore in the Inklands! The fastest I've ever seen a move. Opponent's playing a very strange do nothing deck, though. 
It very much felt like I was playing by myself this whole game. <laughs> and victory.